Hi everyone, welcome to Crypto TV. I'm Ornella Hernandez and today's conversation is with Tomer Pascal who is the co-founder and CEO of OwnPlay, a Web3 gaming studio. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you for joining Crypto TV. I wanted to get your take on the Web3 gaming space as it is right now. But first, I wanted to ask what it's like as a CEO. What is your mission in the Web3 gaming space? Uh, well, our mission, uh, well, being a CEO is a delightful job. And every day is just kind of like, you know, zero problems. Everything goes easy. Uh, so, you know, that that's how it's being uh, a CEO. But uh in a more serious note, right? Um, our mission is to onboard what we call the normies and mm -hmm. into the Web3 world and, and turn them into DGENs. Um, and we believe that uh, a great way of doing it is through a game that would be, on one hand, appealing to the existing DGENs that are already well familiar with, with what Web3 means and can be. Uh, but on the same note, be kind of like being very focused on allowing the normies to onboard and have a game that would be fun, would have a certain financial potential upside. Uh, but from their point of view, we're not mentioning even a word about Web3. Kind of like Web3 is behind the scenes. It's it's the the magic that kind of like enables everything to happen. But uh, uh, from their point of view, it's kind of like just a cool game that they have a, a potential upside in it. Uh, so that's that's my mission. Okay, so let's talk about Own Play's first recently launched game called City vs Tycoon. I understand that it's a real estate simulation game. Can you tell me a little bit more about it and the gameplay, please? Yeah, the way that we call City vs Tycoon is basically Monopoly, but for real. Uh, so every person that is familiar with Monopoly there are certain similarities. It's not Monopoly per se. It's not called Monopoly as well. But I think that's the most adjacent thing in this game. It's it's a it's a real estate game, uh, mobile focused, mobile oriented. So it needs to be what we call it's a Web three snack. Um, it's something easy to digest, accessible to everyone. We are beginning with Manhattan, New York where we are turning real world buildings into nft uh, uh, playable nfts um and just like in the monopoly game your goal as uh, as a player is to accumulate enough in-game rewards in order to uh, allow yourself to afford purchasing a building or you can directly go on and purchase a building or buildings in plural and play with them as well in order to accumulate rewards in the game or you can list, put them out for for them to be rented as a landlord, um, and 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 basically other players will be using your building or buildings and will pay you rent for this. Uh, okay. That's in a nutshell. Love that. First of all, because I'm from New York, so anything to do with New York, <laughs> I'm partial to. And so basically, it's trading. You're you're buying and selling virtual versions of real NYC buildings, right? Exactly. The trading is, is we think it's a cool aspect of the game and obviously very appealing to Web3 people and also to non-Web3 people where they can have a potential upside. Yeah. But the game is more than that. Uh, it's you roll dices, uh, you roll the dice and, and you get actions in the game. The action can be either visiting someone else, which is a bummer, because you'll need to pay for that, just like in the real world Monopoly, or raiding and uh, and uh, and uh, inducting damage to someone else's building and, and gaining coins out of that, or stealing from others. Uh, so there are many different actions, and you need to upgrade your buildings and, and improve and invest in them. Uh, okay. uh, trading is... is is a big portion of that. It's not only a trading game. You're, you don't just play the game uh, by buying okay. and selling. And I want to go back to something you said, a Web3 snack. I like that expression. What else do you think we can snackify <laughs> in this world of Web3? Saying that a DeFi protocol will be snackable is feels like a yeah. far fetch. Having said that, if we zoom out, right, kind of like for the 
without revealing my age here too much. Um, 15 years ago, um, on the Web2 side of things, right? 15 years ago, thinking that trading stocks would be gamified and would be accessible for every Gen Z and young millennial to be able with kind of like a few taps on a mobile app to invest in, in stock options, not only shares, um, would sound kind of like crazy. Dude, really? Kind of like, it needs to be something very, like it needs to be a Charles Schwab or something like that in order to do that. And then came Robin Hood and showed otherwise, right? So I would say that um, in the gaming side of things, um, appealing to casual gamers and not triple A professional type of gamers, that's our goal here. That's where we believe that the masses are at. And that's what we want to do. Um, but I would say that in other fields of Web3, it would be much more on the technical side of things of what's the language, how, how the language of the protocol or product is being presented to the non web three people. Uh, so I would say that that's, that's something that we put a lot of emphasis in the choice of our game type, the platform that we're launching at, it's a mobile game. Um, and all of the tech that we put around is in order to be f as friendly as possible to the yeah. normies. Right, so exactly like, like as you mentioned, the normies, these are web two gamers, but now you're trying to offer them a um, frictionless, easy web three experience. So how is that going so far? The game has been in soft launch for 15 days. Today's the 15th day. Um, it's been great. Um, obviously, there are a lot of bugs on our end that only once you go live like that, you can't, you can actually realize them. So we've been working relentlessly uh, on, on fixing them. But kind of like when zooming out and not dealing in the trenches on, on the bug side of things, um, we are literally bringing in normies uh, that are uh, installing the game, rolling the dice, gaining in-game currency, um, um, and then having enough with the idea that they are paying rent to someone, so they go on and to our in-game marketplace and purchase their first building, and then they invest more in purchasing more dice rolls and stuff like that, and that's amazing. That's literally Web2 people converting into becoming Web3 <laughs> degens without even realizing that. Uh, yeah, they have no idea that all of this is Web3, and on the other end of on the other side of things, we have a decent amount of digits that kind of like aped in immediately into the game. Purchased kind of like I think that the top holder right now holds I think 50 or 60 buildings in Manhattan. Yeah, so so it's going great. Kind of like uh, still not in uh, kind of like we're still not going um, no full blown uh launch because we we so everything is ready but we are intentionally not marketing it ultra aggressively yet oh, but, but but it's going, okay, going great. great so then what do you think about since your focus is on casual and and mobile first games what do you think about telegram mini apps and mini games like do you think this is the future of gaming like why is that has that been so successful um yeah th there might be some hot takes here that i'm about to say uh hopefully i'm not going to get crucified for that uh, mm -hmm. um well, well they're, they're kind of like the people that are are already in the gaming field for the last decade plus we've seen gaming happening also on other chat platforms such as Facebook Messenger as well. So having kind of like if if our game is snackable, I would say that the Telegram game is is uh is even not a snack, right? It's something even less than a slack a snack. They are usually um very um shallow games and, and easy and, and super short sessions. Historically speaking, so this happened also on, on Facebook Messenger. Always 
problematic issues in terms of long-term retention and monetization of these type of games. Um, what we are seeing on Telegram right now, and again, uh, full disclosure, we intend to have versions of our games or or specifically dedicated mini games to Telegram as well. But uh, we are taking it in with a more uh, call it um, uh, cautious approach or or setting up the expectations. Um, probably there the, the the latest thing there is is clicker type of games. Yeah. We just need to get in and click. Well, kudos for them. Wish them all the luck. This is not sustainable. Kind of like we all need to kind of like be clear about that and look mm -hmm. at each other. And probably there are, knowing how things work on Web3, probably there are 50 or 100 teams right now about to launch their clicker game to Telegram. Mm -hmm. And 99 of them will f find out that, uh, okay, there is no market for this. The first one or second one will manage probably to TGE and I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. Uh, I'm no hate to them. Kudos. I'm less of a believer. Okay. Okay. No, you're probably right. I think it has, I more. Think it has but, more to but, do but with But Telegram like, will definitely be there as an additional uh, user acquisition platform for sure. Um, unlike uh, WhatsApp, and um and 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 face and messenger that are under the umbrella of meta which is not friendly to crypto um telegram is more friendly to crypto generally speaking uh more global so it has a good overlap with crypto audiences that are using them yeah they're already there and developing countries as well that are using this as well so yes, I think having said that, Telegram is, I know people always are shocked me saying this, um, Telegram is still under the reach of Apple and Google and um, time will tell how some of the strategies there will, will work with Apple and Google. Uh, time will tell and nobody is big, is too big for Apple to kick him out. Nobody. You can go and ask Fortnite. Yeah, this yeah. Is what, Epic Games uh, is up there. All right. So then what other trends are you looking at specifically when it comes to Web3 mobile gaming for the rest of the year? Well, definitely the Telegram one is a trend to keep an eye to uh, on. But the, the other one, I would say, probably would be the rise of alternative alternatives for the app stores. Uh, and that, that requires a little bit of kind of like a, a 30 second uh, dig maybe about that subject. Um, every mobile app in the world uh, needs to either go through Apple or Google. Um, they control it fully, the policies, everything. Uh, they are like a state in this, sen in this sense. And the two of them, and specifically Apple, are non-friendly to crypto. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you want to have a game that will be appealing to normies and degens, all of the experience need to be inside the game where one can purchase with fiat stuff and 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 Apple Pay and Google Pay, and while others can purchase with crypto and they can trade inside the game. Um, all of the things are n not okay from the point of view of Apple and Google. Hence, if you want to create a Web3 mobile game from our stance and point of view, you can't actually launch a native app to the App Store. Um, so the path that we have taken is building Cityverse Tycoon as a PWA, which is acts like an app, but is not an app in the App Store. Um, and our next phase is to offer this as a platform. And I do see other alternative platforms kind of like popping up in the next six to 12 months to enable Web3 games the option to bypass the app stores and, and not be subs um, subject to their censorship and and uh, and I would say um, hard business models that kind of like basically also takes all of the sense of in-game trading. Yeah, okay. No, lots of good points there. I think we've recently seen the other day with the global Microsoft outage, systems outage, um, the dangers of centralization. 
So hopefully this will push more people into uh, the Web3 world and decentralized apps. And what else can we expect then from Cityverse Tycoon? What's the best way to play it? The best way to play is just browse to cityverse.com uh, or search search for it on Google and then we'll get okay. to our website right. as well. Everyone go check out Cityverse Tycoon and let us know what you think. Thank you, Tomer, so much for your time today and your views on the Web3 gaming world. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for watching this episode with Tomer Pascal, the co-founder and CEO of Web3 Gaming Studio Own Play. He told us all about his new game, City vs. Tycoon. Go check it out and play it. Let me know what you think and make sure to check out other CTV conversations on Web3 TV and I'll see you guys later.